Version 4.9 makes managing multiple intrusion policies much easier. In this section, we'll create a second policy and make a few changes across both policies. We'll first create a second intrusion policy, then create and share a common layer across both policies, then make a change to both policies at once, and finally, apply our policies to the 3D sensors. Let's begin by creating a second intrusion policy. Create a second intrusion policy, this time named Internal Policy. Change the protection mode to Passive. Leave the base policy as Connectivity over Security. Associate this policy with a sensor or a detection engine. Don't commit your changes yet. Your screen should look close to what appears here. Note the blue tree to the left side of the screen. One of the items in the tree is Policy Layers. Click Policy Layers. The Policy layer screen is displayed. This policy consists of two layers, My Changes and the Base Policy, Connectivity over Security. Layers are building blocks for intrusion policies consisting of rules and advanced settings. Layers build on one another to create a final policy. They can be an advanced topic, and you don't have to work with them if you don't want to, but they offer powerful capabilities. Note that the base policy is the bottom layer. The base policy may be updated when you download an SEU from Sourcefire, but that makes no changes to the specific tuning settings you have made which are in a higher layer. You can build on this base policy with additional layers to create a final intrusion policy. Settings in higher layers override settings in lower layers. If you don't set up any layers, your manual tuning changes go into the My Changes layer. It's easy to add a layer and share it between policies. Then if you want to make a single change across multiple policies, all you need to do is make the change in that layer and commit your changes. We'll do that right now by creating a common settings layer. Click Add Layer to add a new layer. When prompted for a name, enter Common Settings and press OK. Drag the handle to the left of the Common Settings layer down so Common Settings is below My Changes. This means that the My Changes layer supersedes the Common Settings layer. Click the pencil icon for the Common Settings layer to edit this layer. Select Allow this layer to be used by other policies and click Internal Policy, the name of the policy, in the upper left to go back to the policy home screen. Press Commit Changes and OK to commit your policy changes. Edit the perimeter policy again and navigate to its policy layer screen. Note that the RNA recommendations you incorporated into the perimeter policy actually appear as another layer. Click Add Shared Layer. Choose Common Settings from Policy Internal Policy. Press OK. Move the Common Settings layer below the My Changes layer.
Go back to the main policy screen and commit your changes. Now your intrusion policies are set up so you can make a change in the common settings layer and it will be used in both policies. Let's try that out. Edit the internal policy. Click Manage Rules. In the upper right corner of the screen, a drop down box says Policy. Choose Layer Common Settings. You're now viewing rule states for the common settings layer. Let's turn on some peer to peer rules across both of your policies by enabling them in that layer. Under the Category section of the Accordion panel on the left, select P2P. Peer-to-peer -peer application rules are displayed. Select all of the rules using the checkbox in the upper left and click Rule State, Drop and Generate Events. Click Policy Layers on the left. Note that the Common Settings layer now has a number of rules set to Drop and Generate Events. Navigate to the Policy Home screen and commit your changes. You are warned that the Perimeter Policy is affected. Press OK to make the change across both policies. Finally, let's apply the policies to their respective sensors. Press Apply on the row that says Perimeter Policy. You are presented with a few apply options. In the vast majority of cases, you'll want to choose Quick Apply. There's no need to choose a sensor or detection engine to apply the policy to. You already did in the previous exercise, and the policy maintains the association. Choose Quick Apply. This intrusion policy is being applied to your sensor. You can repeat the process for the internal policy. One use case for multiple intrusion policies is when you want to define separate protection for devices on different VLANs. SourceFire makes it easy to do this in version 4.9 with a new ability to define policy per VLAN or subnet. The functionality is located in the tree on the left side of the policy screen. You can define multiple policies, each of which corresponds to a different VLAN or CIDR block, and apply them to the same detection engine.